What's up guys? So we've got a brand new update video. Apologize for getting this so late. It is on a Tuesday, but uh, it is here nevertheless. So let's get into it. So there is now a working bank chest at, uh, at the Amethyst Mine. This one right here. The Goblin Banker is now back in the Donator Store. This was just an accident. Some people thought it was removed on purpose. It was an accident. You can now wear the Brassica Halo. Very, very nice. <laughs> You can now actually make the new salve amulet before it gave you a null. Now it is working. Fixed an issue with the mole rat pet and the uh, prince lava dragon pet. They weren't correctly coded and had uh, some uh, random issues. Fixed an issue where the salve amulets were not stacking with the ghost hunter battle axe. And then on that same note, we also <laughs> removed the, uh, uh, the restriction for slayer helmet. So slayer helmet now stacks with the salve amulet. You can, uh, at the training guild shop, all of the Titans pieces are now half off. This is permanent, so, uh, yeah, I just felt like, it's, I, I do want to add one more thing to the zone, but until I figure out what I want to add, I just decided that it would be nice uh, if the, these prices were good. I kept the Elven Spice the same price because that is a really good item and uh, Jambalaya is, yeah, it's very useful. Ghost Tender amulets have been improved. They now have uh, stats similar to a Fury. I believe it is a slightly less, but then again, they also have the massive Ghost Tender effect. So yeah, it is a very good amulet to use in game. The chance of receiving group loot chests from Winter Tots crates has been improved. And then also uh, it should yell now, but um, we have to do some more testing to confirm that one. There is now a Venonatus Wilderness Teleport and Venonatus should now be uh, you can now damage it using uh, using any style anywhere. Like uh, before, it, it can only be damaged if it was in multi and you were in multi. Uh, but now it can just be damaged like normal right here. Yeah. And then also its stats were lowered. Same with Callisto. Callisto's stats have been lowered. The chance of receiving ancient effigies has been lowered. I just felt like we were getting them really, really, really common. And they do give you a lot of experience, so just nerf that rate a little bit. You can now create the black and teal versions of the Dragon Hunter crossbow. Uh, someone said that there was an issue with this. Yeah, they're basically mixed up. Black makes blue, and blue makes black. I'm going to fix that real quick. But, uh, you know, <laughs> just, just note that that'll be... Uh... Okay, just updated the server. Yes, boom, black one made. Cool, cool beans. More items have been added to the Laren's chest. I'll do a video on Laren's chest soon to show you basically everything. Ixthorin Scepter it now provides a 20% damage and accuracy boost against undead monsters. So yeah, it is now a viable option against those. So obviously the axe will still reign supreme, but there is one place you're going to want to use it, and that is the new not tier 96 Slayer monster, the Undead Necromancers. So there are four spots uh, that you can kill them at. Right here, south of the Chaos Altar. Right here, near the uh, uh, God, God Wars Wilderness Dungeon. You have over here, next to Scorpia. This is actually a multi-spot, so you could kill two at once there. And then there is a Donator Zone spot, which I will show you now if we go to Misk. So if you come to etc. over here... Uh, I thought that that would teleport me. No. Yes, there we go. What? What? How the hell did I end up over there? Right here. New Undead Necromancers. I forgot to make them a Slayer task, so they're not currently a Slayer task. I always forget shit. Uh, if you notice right here, we need a Halo. You need a Halo to avoid their special attack. And they don't... Why is it not... Oh, it's, it's not using animations. Uh, it's cool. It's cool. I need to get the fuck out of here before I die. Uh, so, uh, use a halo to avoid that special attack, and they can only be damaged by magic. So, this scepter is very good there because, as you can tell by the name, it is undead. Take a real quick look at the drop tablas. Tablas. Undead. Chromancer. So, guaranteed cash. The main thing that you get from them is a lot of money. Um, they do have some really nice stuff. Basically, everything on the table is useful. Black Lotus, if you didn't know what this is, it is components. That is dark components. Um, these are uber components. So, yeah, some really nice stuff. Component values, both hard and elite clues. Uh, main thing you're going for is kind of cut off right here, but dark gemstone transmute. And this lets you make uh, dark stones and vanta stones. So, uh, that is pretty much it. 
Uh, before I go, though, there is a next beta, Cone Coin Next. Uh, it is released on beta. It is still, you know, obviously got some, you know, things we need to do to improve it. But, uh, yeah, if you want to give it a go and help us test it, please do. Uh, Theater of Blood also received some more changes, so please test uh, the Theater of Blood as well. Those both are very soon to be uh, ready to go and released. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you soon.